It was a bold choice to create Reptile as a completely computer-rendered character with a considerable amount of screen time. There's a point in the movie where the, our heroes go to a statuary garden, and when you're watching the movie, you see that it's full of these huge granite and marble statues. And it was our job to bring one of those statues to life. And actually, um, it's made of styrofoam and it only weighs about 200 pounds, so we could actually take it to our offices and use it as a reference and model a copy of it in the computer. When we model it in the computer, it ends up looking something like this. This is a wireframe representation of the creature. And what we can do is use computer software to move it around. It doesn't actually exist except in the computer, but we can make it move in any way that we want to. And the image of that creature will appear on the movie screen when we're finished. When we first begin doing our computer animation, it looks gray, plain, shaded the way that you see now. One of the things that we had to do first was decide what it was going to look like when it was actually colored like a, like a chameleon, like a lizard. <laughs> This is a computer representation of the head of the reptile. Here you can see his eyes. These, these actually appear on either side of his head. This area here runs over the top of his head. These are the stripes that run along his spine. I think these are his nostrils, although in this format, it's actually difficult to uh, imagine that this could possibly wrap around and form a uh, head. Reptile is a chameleon type character that is a servant to Shang Tsung. And he follows people around, he's annoyance. He, he keeps people apart for Shang Tsung. And the difficulty about Reptile is um, because he's a chameleon, he blends into his different environments. But we have him in you know, a dozen different environments. So every time he picks up a different background, we have to figure out what would look best in that different environment. So as much as it's conceptually the same effect, it's different every time we see it. He's kind of an interesting combination between like one of the dinosaurs in Jurassic Park you know, that kind of lizard feel. And some weird kind of alien creature that has this power to blend in, to disguise himself. Um, I think that what that gives us is a sense that Reptile could be anywhere in the movie.